and my life will move. Oh, turn it up. Never say when. It's five in the morning, and your children are somewhere on the corner. Six a.m. Water boiling. Think I'm addicted to the strong aroma. You win somehow. So give up on the battle, baby. Good morning, my friends. A lot of you have asked for some day in the life type videos or how I manage the gym with everything else going on. I think you guys are gonna realize that my life is pretty boring, but hopefully this will help some of you guys out there. So you saw my pre-workout regimen. The only thing you didn't see is last night I mixed up my BCAAs and my creatine in my water bottle. Just because when I do go to the actual gym, I like to just be able to grab and go, and plus it's nice that they're cold when I wake up. So I'm gonna get warmed up and we're gonna get to this workout. So by the time I do my morning routine and get warmed up, it's usually about 5.20 a.m. And inevitably, every time I do one of these videos, a question comes up, why do you work out so early? How do you work out so early? Or something around the workout time. The way I look at it is that with my schedule, I have about an hour, hour and a half maybe to do something that I truly love to do. So I don't care if it's at 5 a.m., 5 p.m., or midnight, I am going to take advantage of that. Regardless of whether it's the optimal time or it's the best time, it's the time that I have, so I make the best of it. I think what a lot of people fail to realize is the body is smart and it can adapt. So I know it might be tough at first to get into a workout regimen, especially if it's at a time that's not desirable, but just give it a try. I promise you guys, you will get used to it and it won't be that bad. Maybe I should do a whole video of the pros and cons of working out early, but one of the biggest pros to me is that there's nothing else that could possibly be going on at this hour. There's no one that wants to schedule a meeting. There's no one that will probably call me and need help with something from work. Just like last night, for example, I got a call at probably like 7.30 p.m., but he was on the West Coast, so it was, you know, 4.30 for him. So just stuff like that, like, I don't want to miss a phone call from work just because I'm at the gym, or I don't want to miss a gym session because I have to stay late, something like that. This is just very practical for someone like me, and if you're in the working world, or at least a typical, like, 8 to 5, I think it might be a better option for you, but again, that is just my opinion. So let me know your guys' thoughts. What times do you work out if you do work full-time? Or even if you don't, just what fits within your schedules. So workout's over, I'm just gonna go upstairs, clean my kitchen up, clean myself up, then we're off to work. Now it's time to start the day. So as most of you know, I eat oatmeal every single day for breakfast. I'm gonna bring these overnight oats with me and I will eat them when I'm at a red light or when I'm stuck in traffic, something before I get to work. So that's kind of the routine. They may get legalistic in an attempt to lie, but it's more likely they'll just say, I can't talk about it. So I usually listen to some type of audio book on my drive in and I try to get into work about 720, 725-ish, just because I don't see the point in leaving at the same time as everybody else when you just have to sit in more traffic than necessary. So one of the biggest tips I will give you guys, which is something that I have been working on, thanks to my friend Grant Cardone, I talked about his audiobook in a video last week, and he talks about taking massive action to get things done. And that's really something that I try to do. I try to maximize my time as much as possible. What's up guys, I know you missed me, but I knew I'd have to leave the office today so I could talk to you guys. So a lot of times I'm just staying and eat with my coworkers or we'll go out and get some food somewhere. But today what I decided to do is run errands, which is something I do once or twice per week because I know I'm not gonna wanna do it after work. So I'll go pick up a few things, then I'll eat in the car, talk to you guys a little bit more, and we'll just have a grand old time. Is anybody watching this video right now gluten free? And if so, what the heck do you eat? Now obviously I could go pick up some food pretty easily, but I already had this pasta made, so I figured I would just have this heated up when I was at work. And that's pretty simple and easy, and it's what I typically eat throughout the week. The other thing I wanna to mention to you guys is that if you wanna get a lot done throughout a day, 
you're gonna have to simplify a lot of things a lot of things that i would say don't matter now we all know those people that just get so upset and worked up about every single detail and those people are the least efficient and productive people that i have ever met i'm kind of like the okay person someone's freaking out about something and i'll be like okay something crazy goes on in their life which isn't very crazy at all i'm just okay they're freaking out about a snowstorm or someone over here said this and someone over there is making too much noise and they're just they can't even focus because it's driving them nuts and they don't get anything done. So if you can just simplify all that crap, it doesn't matter, you will be more efficient yourself. I promise you. So that is it for this portion. I am going to go back to work and I will talk to you guys once I'm finally off. What do you guys think about that right there? It's actually a Christmas present, but everyone is gonna be doing like, you know, like Santa gift bags and snowmen. I had to switch it up. Need it in your life. It's all about the way that you say you never get tired. Don't you feel so alive after a solid day of work? You got a lot done, you just feel accomplished, productive, and now you really have the world at your fingertips. You can go do whatever you want to do. Oh boy, I got some presents. So usually about seven o'clock is when I finally start getting around to some food. And I don't know if anyone else does this, but a lot of times I'll just be thinking of what I want to eat, but I'm really hungry. So what I'll do is I'll just make up some vegetables. And then that kind of holds me over for a little bit, especially because you know the worst thing is when you come home and then you're just so hungry when you're trying to cook all your food up. But what you're gonna see is I don't like to really get too creative in the kitchen during the week unless I'm trying to make a video for you guys. I just like something quick and easy. So I had the cheesy broccoli just to get something in my stomach while I made my other food, but really everything was very, very quick and easy tonight and that is what I typically go for even though I know you guys are used to seeing some crazy foods on this channel. But for the most part, I just have, you know, everyday food. So I did a meatball wrap and also three whole eggs topped with some of this Taco Bell fire sauce. And that's gonna be it. So you get home, how do you guys decide what YouTube video you're gonna fire up and watch? Bonus points to anyone that says, oh, we just look for your latest video and that's what we watch. And speaking of my videos, I just released a video today. So anytime I do that, the first thing I like to do after I eat when I come home is reply to some comments. Now this takes me anywhere from 30 minutes, usually if I release a video, but sometimes if I get kind of behind, it could take me up to an hour which when you think about it, that's almost half my free time in the evenings, but uh, it's something that's really important to me and I really do try to keep up with that. So I finished up responding to some comments and thank you to anyone that's ever left a comment on these videos, I really do appreciate that. And now it's on to editing some videos, so it never stops really. I mean, there's always something to be done and a lot of people ask me about this, well, how much time do you spend doing this? How do you have the time to do this when you do work full time? And I think it really just, it matches my personality because I never have a day where I come home and I sit on the couch and watch TV or just relax. And that's perfectly fine with me. I'm not even trying to make it sound like I'm the, the hardest working individual of all time. No, it's nothing like that. It's just, it's just how I am. And sometimes, yeah, it does. It would be nice to just come home and, you know, watch TV or something. But then I think of what, I, what would I rather do? And that is edit these videos and make these videos, put these videos out for you guys. And obviously there's some days where I just go out after work and hang out with friends. And I chalk that up to something completely different. So I'm not coming home every single night and editing. But if I'm coming home and I'm not with anybody, this is what I will be doing without a doubt. So I am going to hopefully get this project done tonight so I can export it, upload it in the morning, and it just goes on and on, the same cycle. Okay, so the video's done, I got it rendering now. It took me probably a little over three hours since I started on it last night, which is pretty typical for a video of mine. And now I'm going to end the day with some food just like I always do. I always eat right before bed. It's just kind of like my thing, it helps me sleep. So the one thing I'm gonna be having, I'm kinda proud of myself. It's a healthified ice cream sandwich. I'm using rice cakes and this low fat ice cream. I didn't even steal that from anybody. That, that's pretty good, right? And then I'm gonna have a few more rice cakes with some sludge on top. I will be using the PES milk chocolate. Pretty good stuff. And then I think I have room for maybe a little bit more food. 
I don't know, I'll figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna be having is a piece of this protein cheesecake and this stuff is amazing. The best protein cheesecake ever. And if you guys like the video, I will do a recipe for you. That's mean, I've already shot the video. I'm gonna release it, but if you wanna like the video, that will help me out. So hopefully that will be out in the next week or so, but that's gonna pretty much conclude the video. Um, as you can see, my life is not all that exciting. I kind of do the same things day in and day out, but hopefully this helps some of you because I know I've been getting a lot of requests to do something like this. So let me know your feedback. What could I do better? What do you want to see more of? But the, the difficult part with me is I'm just at work most of the day, so it's not like I can record anything when I'm there. So that is going to be the end of the video, my friends. Thank you for spending the day with me. I had fun. I hope you guys did as well. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. That really helps me out a lot. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really mean, I messed up my own outro. That really means a lot to me. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm <laughs> <laughs>